I wish we had them in the House of Lords at three o'clock in the morning. Keep Again. Um, I must say that uh, it isn't summertime, and uh, the living isn't all that easy always in the business of trying to get the riverside reopened, but it was a beautiful rendition of a great number and many other great uh, songs. I'd like to thank the band tremendously, and I'd also like to thank the young people who did the artworks just along uh, the river in the old toilet block there. Um, I think it's marvellous that uh, children, the young children, are getting involved in being interested in the future of the riverside. And I'd like to thank them and the schools and everybody who's been involved in that competition. I'd like to thank our parks department for what they've done in uh, laying out uh, this piece of ground for the people, yeah. not for the council. Um, I'd like to also thank everybody who's taken part in this long and continuing and not yet finished uh, struggle uh, to get a riverside which will be a public resource, as I promised, I hope, forever uh, for the people of Twickenham. And I'd like to thank the Community Trust volunteers and all those individuals who've been involved in that, the many groups and people who's had great ideas about how this ground could be opened in a temporary way. You know, I've mentioned Edward Davis, who I heard speaking about this at a conference some years ago. But also, like, I hope to mention also the name of Sir Peter Wakefield, who was so sadly lost to us recently. I mean, a fantastic supporter of uh, Twickenham and the eventual vision of a riverside from here to York House. Now, this is not a final step, it's another small step on the way, but isn't it a lovely view? Isn't it sad that we haven't been able to see it all these years? Yeah. Yeah. And I hope that when it comes to a spring that people will be out here, I'd love to see the picnics taking place, people practicing for the street parties, people enjoying themselves in this wonderful town, and I hope you'll enjoy yourselves for the rest of the day. We are working, considering actively uh, what is going on behind there. We want to show everybody what's behind there. We will be producing documents later this spring. Uh, there is activity. This is not the end of the matter, it's the beginning of the matter. And the people of Twickenham will be given an opportunity to decide finally uh, the future of this piece of ground. But I repeat the pledge that I gave at the Twickenham conference. This council is prepared to put money into this piece of ground to create something which can be a beautiful resource uh, for the people of this town. Uh, it's a magnificent place. I'd like to thank all those who have come and uh, all those who struggled for this. I'm a late comer on the scene. If anyone worries about the waste of money, the Parks Department tells me that all these trees and plants can be removed and will be moved and can be reused in part of the final scheme when we have it. So here we are. I declare it doesn't have a name. It's the people's ground. Um, but let it be open. Let people enjoy it. And let it be the second small step along the road to the revival of Riverside and a small part of the revival and growth and improvement of this wonderful town of Twickenham. And thank you all. And thank you. Let's have, are we going to get any more music? Brilliant, well, that's what they want. I'll shut up and let people really enjoy what they're enjoying. And thank you, everybody.